Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about dynamic role level security with Power BI. There are different methods to use role level security in Power BI. You can set up multiple roles in Power BI as we did in our last episode, but static role level security is not always the answer. So we have to move one step forward. And in that case, we are going to use the dynamic role level security. So the very first question comes, what is it? Well, if you will ask me, by the dynamic role level security, I mean the definition of security by besides the user account information in the data source. For example, just consider the case of mine, like when Ajay logs into the system, based on the data tables that show Ajay is a sales manager for a specific department, he should be able to see only those department data. That can happen with anyone. It can be for individual employee based on their designation, or it can be for an entire department. Now the next question comes, why we really need a dynamic role level security? Well, as I just mentioned, for example, manager is logging into the system. They should be able to see all the data. However, individual employee who doesn't have access for the financial data that employee shouldn't be able to see the financial data so you need to think about the limitation of the static role level security over here the static role level security is simple to implement however if you have thousands of roles for example you are working in a company where you have more than 5000 employees and you want to have every user a particular role and in that case, you want to give the access to them of your data or the Power BI report based on their role or the designation. So in that case, dynamic role level security comes into play. And with the dynamic role level security, we can maintain each and individual user security based on their access level. Now we are going to start our today's demo. And in this demo, I'm going to show you with a very simple example how you can maintain it. But remember, the more complex scenarios can also be implemented, but that totally depends upon your own requirement. So let's see what we have for today. Now, as you can see, we are going to implement the dynamic role level security in Power BI over here. I have this very simple data into a table. For that, I'm using a data model in the Power BI itself, which I'm just going to show you after a couple of seconds. But first see what I have, I have my employee name, I have their email addresses, then I have employee ID, product ID, and the sales. Since sales is a financial data, we don't want to show it to everyone. So everyone has their own access. And based on that only, we would like to show this data to the employees who are having the access of this report. So the very first, we are gonna have a look at our data model over here. You will see we have this sales table. In the sales table, I have this employee ID, product ID, and sales information. Then I have this employee table where I have my employee ID, employee email address, and employee name. You can also call it a user table or username table. That's totally up to you. Now, let me show you the data over here. In the employee table, I have my employee ID like 12345, then their name and the email addresses. These email addresses are nothing but their usernames that they are going to use to log in into the Power BI service or Power BI account. In the sales table, I have this very simple data. You can see I have date, employee ID, product ID, and the sales amount. Over here, you should note that you should have one common field so that you can connect your employee table with your sales table, which we have this employee ID. So now based on the data that we have in our employee table or when somebody is going to log in, they should be able to see the data. For example, if I have an employee with the employee ID 1, he should only be able to see the rows with the employee ID 1. Now let's come into this report and the very first, as I mentioned into my previous videos, we have five step process which we have to follow in order to implement the role level security in Power BI. So the very first, you have to come under this modeling tab. Over here, you have to come to this manage roles. Over here, I have already created a role with the sales. If you don't know how to create the role, you can visit the last video. Over there, I have explained it very clearly and you can do the same way. So now what we have to do, we have to come to this employee table and here we have to write a very simple text where I'm going to use this field employee email address because 
what I want to do, I want to filter the employee table based on the user who's going to log in into the system. So over here, if I come into my employee table and I'm the one with a particular email address who's logging into the table, that means I'm filtering this table based on my email address. And over here, my email address is this connect at biconsultingpro.com. So suppose I just do this, then it should only show me my data only. So that's how we are going to control it. And when this table is going to relate with the sales table, it's going to filter it out the corresponding rows from the sales table. Basically, it's going to act as a slicer. And that's how you are going to filter out the rows from the sales table. So this is the way that you can do it. So now let me go back to this manage rows. Over here, if you would like to just go here, add filter, and you can select the field on which you would like to add the filter. Over here, we are going to add a filter on employee email address field. That's what I did. And always use this user principal name. If you don't know what is it, why should we use it? Please go back and watch the episode number one and you will get to know everything about it. That's all you need to do over here. Now we have to just click on this save button. And now what we have to do, we have to validate our roles over here. And how we can do that? Just click on this view as button. And here you can see this, I have the roles over here, this sales one. And since my email address is related to that, it should show me the corresponding rows only. So just click OK. And here you can see it's not going to show me anything. The reason is that it cannot actually detect you while you are on Power BI desktop. So you won't be able to check your role over here because the role is sales and it doesn't have any email address right now with this one. So what we have to do in order to validate this role, we have to first publish our report into Power BI services and there we are going to validate our roles. So just click on got it. And now we are going to go back to our Power BI service portal. There we are going to have a look how it behaves. So guys, right now I'm into my Power BI service account. Here you can see my email address connected biconsultingpro.com. And now if I'll go back to my workspace, which is my demo, here you can directly come into the data set where you have published your report. You have to go to the dynamic role level security report. So let's go into that one. We have to go to the security. Right now there's no role and you can see sales there's zero. That means there's no employee or an AD group has been added over here. So what we are going to do, we are going to add it over here. So we are going to test these two roles. So just click on add, click on save button. And now, since I'm already logged in into my Power BI service account, so let's see how it behaves. So test as a role. And here you can see now viewing as sales. And under sales, since my email address is connected via consultingpro.com, I can see only the corresponding rows over here and total sales is appearing. If I'll go back to my report, I'm going to show you there what were the rows corresponding to my employee ID. Over here, you can see BCP has only one row with the sales amount of 9,000 and the same amount is appearing over here. That means this role is working perfectly fine. There's no issue at all. Now I'm going to log in into my another account as well. That is admin at biconsultingpro.com and let's see what we can see over there. So guys, now I have logged in into my another account that is admin at biconsultingpro.com as you can see over here on the top right hand side corner. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to my demo workspace and I'm going to have a look whether I have that report or not and what is the data that is appearing over there. So this is my demo workspace here. This is the RLS episode 2 dynamic pro level security and I should see only the data corresponding to me, which you can see is appearing over here. I can only see the data corresponding to me. So this is the dynamic role level security which you can implement into your organization when you have hundreds or more roles or in a case where you cannot manage individual roles. I hope you like this video and you are now clear about the dynamic role level security. What is it? Why do we need it? How to use it? How to create? How to publish? And everything about it. In the next episode, we are going to define dynamic role level security and its configuration at manager level access in Power BI. Stay tuned guys for the next video and thank you so much for watching this video.